Good morning, everybody. Day 60. Just left the Beaver Brook shelter area. And actually, it wasn't that bad. There was, I mean, there was people real close to me. But everybody was quiet. It was, wasn't bad at all. So, but it's just the luck of the draw. Sometimes it gets out of control loud and sometimes it's perfect. And last night was as perfect as it can get at a shelter area. Put it that way. Um, and we're going to come down Moose Lake right now. We're actually we're coming down it. But we're getting ready to get to the steep part. Yeah. You think this flat trail is steep? <laughs> You ain't seen none yet. It's about to go. Whoop. So yeah, it looks like it's going to be a beautiful, beautiful day too. And if you can't tell, I just woke up. It's like late. Oh. <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> okay, we had a stranger danger coming at us fast. You can tell she's a peak bagger because she was on a mission to get to that 4,000 footer. <laughs> anyway, she snuck right around the corner on me. I'm like, oop. Oh, and I don't even know where I was at. <laughs> it's going to be a beautiful, beautiful day. I know that. That's always a plus. I'm kind of hungry for some town food. <laughs> I'm always hungry for town food. That's hilarious. Alrighty, guys. Guess that's it of my rambling this morning. But I hope you guys have a great, great day. Let me get down here. <laughs> yeah, hope you have a great, great day. And I'll touch back with the cool stuff. And the views. You know. Just like I do better. I love how rugged the whites are. I mean, look at this. That's where we came from, right up there. That trail goes this way. But, we're at this cool waterfall. I've never been able to walk out this far on this. Usually it's flowing way better. Check this out. Oh yeah. Look how clear this water is. Where's it go? Where's it go? How cool. So yeah, this waterfall, we're going to follow pretty much a whole another mile all the way down the rest of this mountain. We'll be right on our left-hand side. beautiful it's not flowing very good but still really pretty yeah i've never been able to walk down there that far usually be like oh i don't know <laughs> might slip those rocks were super dry though all righty let's keep going we're almost to those logs that are bolted into the into the rock. It's pretty neat. Don't worry, I'll show you. Here we go.
Look how beautiful that is. Mountains in the background, the river, stream, waterfall, whatever it is. Look at this. Boom. Let me zoom you in. <laughs> this is beautiful. Yeah. Super cool. Nice. Look at this stone or the staircase made out of these six by sixes. Hey, could you imagine if one of these came loose when you stepped on it? Whew. It'd be able quite the ride. It'd be like Plinko. Price is right game, Plinko. <laughs> That's all I can picture. How cool. Love this mountain. Now we're talking. Gaining speed. What a conga line. I wanted, I should have been like, do the conga, do the conga. Anyways, that's where the waterfall, this is what ended up being, uh, just a stream. And we're getting real close to uh, the road, New Hampshire 112. Yeah, I mean, I've been hearing motorcycles. I know motorcycles are loud, you can hear them like wherever, but I've been hearing them, so. I know I'm close to the road. Plus, I know where I'm at on trail. I know I'm close to the road. <laughs> it's hilarious. Act like I ain't done this before. place to pull over, you know? So, let's get with it. Let's go get 
town food. Holy cow. Well, that was an easy, easy key toss. <laughs> I wasn't gonna try to curve it around and land it on the entertainment center, but I'm not all into that right now. I don't wanna do like 50 million takes. <laughs> so end of day recap, everybody. Day 60, we left Beaver Brooks shelter area this morning, 1803.4. And we're now sitting at Kinsman Notch, 1804.9. Makes it a whopping 1.5 mile day, everybody. And when I got to New Hampshire 112 there, which is Kinsman Notch, I stuck my thumb out. There's actually people doing trail magic in the parking lot. And so I was trying to hitch for like 20, I don't know, 20, 25 minutes. And the people doing trail magic came over and offered me a ride into town. Thank you. Thank you so much for the ride. I'll throw his picture in here right now. So yeah, <laughs> got a ride, it was perfect. And uh, then when I got into town, I had him just drop me off in Lincoln, like by the McDonald's. And then I decided what I wanted to do. So I went down to Flapjacks and it was like an hour and a half wait to get in that place this morning. So. Of course I waited, had a good breakfast. Then I went down to the price chopper and got a few things to clean myself up a little bit and my clothes up a little bit and a few little resupply items for today. Um, and then from there, I walked, I don't know, two miles to the Quality Inn here. I guess I'm in Route 3. It's just still Lincoln, uh, but I'm at the Quality Inn now uh, where I'm just going to rest up a little bit and then uh, tomorrow, so... Why did I only do a 1.5 mile day? Well, when I was in Bennington with Steve Lombard and Sir Stops a lot, uh, Steve Lombard said something about in a week or so, he was gonna go up to Flagstaff Lake and camp out. And he knew that that was right by the Hostel Main. So he offered me to ride along with him to surprise Katie. So yeah, that's what's gonna go down. Tomorrow, Steve Lombard is gonna pick me up here at like 11. And we're going to drive the rest of the way to the Hostel Maine, where I'm going to try to surprise Katie. I don't really think she knows I'm coming. I'm pretty sure she doesn't know I'm coming. So hopefully a surprise will be good for her. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna, I'm going to go there. Like I say, we're going to drive there tomorrow. And I'm going to hang out three or four days with Katie and PR and Steve. And then Steve, on his way back home, he's going to drop me back off here in Lincoln, where I will continue to push north. Um, so yeah, that's the dealio. I'm actually not going to release this video until I get to the hostel main. So I don't get busted out by Katie trying to surprise her. Um, but yeah, that's the dealio. I think it will be good for me to go hang out with her and PR for a little while. And, uh, 
yeah, have some quality time. It'll be good. And uh, that's pretty much a wrap on the day. I don't know if I'm going to do a video tomorrow, like the ride to the hostel and surprising Katie. Who knows? Maybe I'll do something. Uh, but for right now, I just want to get cleaned up the rest of the way, edit this video, and then schedule it for later in the day tomorrow. And I don't know if I'm going to do a video. I might go live with Katie in the hostel, Maine. I'm not sure what we're going to do. We might just go out in the middle of nowhere and just camp. Who knows? As long as I'm spending time with her in PR, that's all that really matters. So, yeah, that's a wrap, everybody. It's going to be a surprise day tomorrow for Katie. <laughs> day 60, a whopping 1.5 miles. And I hope you guys had a great, great day. And I'll touch back with you guys really, really soon, baby.